Now, without uh, further ado, let uh, us hear from the panelists. I would like uh, to ask first uh, uh, Professor Sukadeo Thorat. He is a professor of uh, economics uh, at JNU, the Chavalero University in Delhi. He is also the chairman of the Indian Council of Social Science Research. Thorat, uh, you have written very, published very widely on the topic of exclusion and affirmative action. Please share some of your key insights on this topic. You can, maybe you can just sit on the sit here, that's easier. <laughs> well, let me begin with a profound thanks to Yipri for putting this panel as well as inviting me for this uh, important session. Well, let me come to the point. Uh, this is the session on gender exclusion and residence. The World Bank has recently published a report, uh, what is called Inclusion Matters, and recognized two things in that report. Is that there are excluded communities and indigenous group. Uh, their rate of improvement in human development is less compared to their counterpart, poor counterpart, from non excluded group, and that the disparity persists between the excluded and indigenous communities and the rest. And uh, the report, for the first time, perhaps recognized that the social exclusion is the cause which is specific to the excluded group, which uh, continue to lag behind. Now, I will only address very quickly two questions as to how the problem of excluded group is different than that of a non-excluded group, how exclusion uh, induced marginality and intense poverty among them vis-a-vis -vis the others, and what are the policy implications of theories. Now, the, all over the world, the affirmative action policies have been developed for the excluded group, but my reading of the issue is that the affirmative action policies are the one which face very immense resistance from the policymaker. And I think, therefore, there is a need that we, uh, I, I just clarify on a couple of theoretical issues, and then uh, later we can go to the policy issues. Well, how is the problem of excluded group different from that of non-excluded group? Uh, we find communities uh, uh, which are excluded on the basis of their identity, that may be gender, race, social origin, color, uh, ethnicity, nationality. And they continue to lag behind compared to other, and they constitute the poor within the poor. I think one of the problems that distinguish them from the rest is that, that they face discrimination and exclusion from having access to the market, various market, uh, having access to non-institution, uh, non-market institution like education, food security schemes, or related to institution related to health. They face discrimination in the delivery of the government service uh, program, including the program for uh, uh, occasional uh, problem like earthquake, flood, tsunami. And they face exclusion from participation in the governance, uh, in the policy making, in the implementation and decision making. Now as a result, the exclusion deny them equal opportunity which other enjoy to the resources. I think the problem of excluded community then is, if we want to define exclusion, is that they have unequal access to the market and non-market institutions which other enjoy. And I would very briefly say that there are three characteristics which, which we must remember if we want to avoid the debate on the policy. One is that the exclusion essentially is an unequal access to the, uh, to the excluded community because of their identity. And secondly is that this unequal access uh, is group-based and that need to be understood. It is not individual-based. It is not the exclusion of an individual. In the individual do get excluded. I don't have purchasing power. I can't buy the thing. I am illiterate, I can't get a job. I don't have money to give as a security, I don't get a loan. That is an exclusion of individual because of individual attribute. But the social exclusion, the way it is defined in the literature, is group-based, that you are excluded because of your group identity, subscribe status, irrespective of your merit, efficiency, and other positions. So I think that is important, and that this exclusion really need to additional. I think this, this is very, very important that we understand the concept of exclusion, that it is group-based, it is based in social relationship, it is embedded in social relationship, and that its outcome is marginality, high poverty, which is not the case for others.